Vision Forward's In Focus team presents. Hi, this is Luke Scriven here at Vision Forward. Welcome to another In Focus tech demo. Now, this uh, tech demo is going to be a little bit different from some of the others because it's not about anything that's high tech, but rather about uh, some low tech things. We're going to be talking about some handheld and stand optical magnifiers. And of course, when you start to lose your vision, a magnifier, an optical magnifier is often the first thing that you turn to to help you with reading and uh, maybe with writing and things like that. And they can certainly be powerful tools, but there are certain things which you need to remember about optical magnifiers, which we're going to discuss, um, that you know mean that they might not be the right tool for all situations. And there's some common mistakes which people make when choosing a magnifier. So let's uh, dive in and we'll take a look at what magnifiers are all about. So on the table here, uh, I have a number of different magnifiers and they're all different shapes and sizes. Let's take a look at what we got. So we have here a 3X magnifier. This one is a, a rectangular shape. We have here a 4X um, circular magnifier. And we actually have a little stand that this one goes in, and you can put the other ones into the stand as well. We have a circular 7x magnifier. And then we have a couple of stand magnifiers, so instead of being held in the hand, these are rested on a surface instead. And we have a 7x stand magnifier here. And uh, here we have, I think it is a 3x, yeah, 3x stand magnifier. Now you might have noticed something about those different magnifiers um, other than that uh, the shape of some of them is a little bit different but also the higher the power the smaller the lens is and this is the first thing which people often get confused with with the magnifier the higher the power the smaller the lens will be and uh, it's a bit confusing because when you think about getting a magnifier what you think is well i want the biggest magnifier possible because i want to see the largest amount of text that I can possibly see at uh, one time. So you buy this big magnifying sheet that you you know saw on the TV or somebody told you about and you get it and you can't see anything with it because it's very low powered. So anything that's large when it comes to magnifiers will be low powered. And uh, this is why it's very important to, uh, when you're choosing a magnifier, make sure that you get the right power. And it might be, unfortunately, that the lens is relatively small, depending on the power that you need. And so the higher the power that you need, the smaller the, the lens will be. And this does mean that it is more difficult to use as well. And so optical magnification has its limitations in the sense that the higher the power of the magnifier you need, the smaller the lens is, so the less text you're able to see with it at any one time. Uh, because of this, it is a very good idea to have an evaluation done, a low vision evaluation, uh, which might involve seeing a low vision doctor and an occupational therapist. And they're able to uh, discuss with you the types of things that you want to read. Obviously, they can have a look at your vision and measure that and then figure out what the best type of magnification tools might be in order to carry out any specific tasks. And so it might be that you could find optical magnifiers to assist you. Uh, but it might also be that uh, you want to look at some electronic magnification options which might be more suited to the tasks which you are trying to do. So apart from the different uh, powers, what else can we look at with regards to optical magnifiers? Well, here we have two different types. We have the handheld and we have the stand which is designed just to rest on top. What you have to remember with magnifiers is that the lens of the magnifier has to be at the correct focal distance from the thing that you're trying to read. The weaker the power of the magnifier, the further away you can hold it um, and have the text be in focus. The higher the power of the magnifier, the closer you have to hold it to what you're trying to read in order for it to be in focus. So for example, with this 3X magnifier, if I go ahead and hold that over the page, I have quite a large range in which I can hold it and the text will still be in focus. And so that gives me a bit more flexibility. Now, with the 7X, I have to hold it a lot closer to the page in order for that text to be in focus. And I also see less text because the, um, the lens is smaller. Now, you may have noticed that 
both of the magnifiers we just looked at had lights built in and lighting is very important when it comes to magnification. It can really aid in uh, helping you see what you're trying to read. So definitely if you're going to buy a magnifier, you would want to get one with a, an LED light built in. Those are nice and bright. They don't use too much power and they don't get hot. You could also use an external task lamp. Um, so something, you know, on a table or that you stand on the floor next to what, uh, next to where you're trying to work. And so that's also a good solution. Uh, one good idea when using a magnifier is to think about the best way to optimize the field of view. As we said before, with higher powered magnifiers, the lenses are smaller. And this means that if we're trying to read by holding our magnifier up to the paper, like so, so this is in focus at the moment, uh, but it's uh, quite close to the paper, and so I only see, you know, maybe one word at a time, which isn't super practical if we want to do larger amounts of reading. One thing we can do to get around this is actually hold the magnifier up to our eye instead and then hold the reading material up until it's in focus, which would be just about here. I know you can't see my face because it's behind a sheet of paper, but you'll have to trust me here. And now I can see about three words at a time instead of just one. So I have a wider field of view using my magnifier like that. And so that can be beneficial. Now it can get a bit tiring holding the, um, you know, the page and the magnifier up like that. But if I've got to the strength to do it, then that is a good way to use my magnifier. Stand magnifiers can be very useful because you are able to just rest them on the table. So if you have trouble holding a handheld magnifier still enough to use, uh, or even if you just want to read for an extended period and uh, you don't want your arms to get tired, a stand magnifier is a great solution. You can just rest it on the table. And as you're reading, then you would move your magnifier left to right and up and down as you read. And so it's nice and easy to use. They come in different powers. And obviously, again, the higher the power, the smaller the lens will be, so the less you will see at any one time. Uh, but it's definitely a good option for more extended reading. Now, you can actually get a little stand to put your handheld magnifier in. And so we have this magnifier in a little stand at the moment. And this works in, uh, in the same way. So you can rest it on the paper, you can angle it to the angle which you need, and then you can go ahead and turn on the light and use it in a similar manner to the stand magnifier, with the added bonus, of course, that you're able to take the magnifier out and use it as a handheld magnifier when you're, uh, you know, you need to take it on the go or whatever it might be. Um, so that's definitely a nice flexible solution. One other thing to consider with our optical magnification is we do get some peripheral distortion of the image. And so towards the edges of the image, we do see that the sentences tend to kind of curve away from us. And so this can make it a little bit tricky. Now, generally, we are looking in the center of the lens. And so, uh, you know, the text there should be clear and should be straight. Um, however, it is something worth bearing in mind that you don't really get the full lens worth of a clear image. This is where electronic magnification has a big uh, benefit because the entire image is clear across, across the screen on an electronic magnifier. So with optical magnifiers, there's definite benefits. They're cheap, you know, relatively speaking. They, um, you can, you know, have multiple ones in multiple places in your house, uh, have ones that you take out with you. You can get different powers for viewing different things. For example, you might have one, a higher power for a medicine bottle because the text is very small and a lower power for, you know, a book or whatever it might be. And um, they do, they do a good job. But what you've got to remember with optical magnifiers, as we have already stated, is the higher the power, the smaller the lens will be. And so if you buy a big magnifier expecting it to be useful, more likely than not, unfortunately, it won't be. And uh, yeah, also the stronger the power, the smaller the field of view. And so it gets quite tiring to read with an optical magnifier if you need a higher power uh, because you have to hold it very close to what you're reading. It's a small field of view and uh, it gets quite tiring. So at some point you might want to consider electronic magnification, which is a lot more flexible. And we have a number of different videos on uh, electronic magnifiers, which might be beneficial. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I uh, hope that it was educational. And if you have any questions about magnifiers or any assistive technology products, you can get in touch with us. Call us 414-615-0103, email infocus at vision-forward.org or visit us online vision-forward.org. 
We'll see you in the next video.